The man in front of me leapt from the cable car. As fast as he can, he falls from the sky. It looks like he's jumping off a cable car to save himself. But in fact, he was trying to get himself killed the moment he hit the ground. His thigh creaked. The pain of such a comminuted fracture is excruciating. No one can break a bone without fainting. Unless that person is born with a will of steel. Bob looked at his broken thigh and he just hissed. Even if the people on the other side of the mountain could hear him, there was no guarantee that Bob would survive. Lucy and Leo on the cable car saw the whole thing. They were stunned. Leo was undying in his scarf, hoping that Bob could use the scarf he threw out. Bob could use the scarf he threw to bandage his thigh. The scarf that seemed so close was a million miles away. Bob is crawling, trying to survive. He could only shout and bend down to pick it up. Lucy on the cable car also hurriedly covered her ears. Because at this moment Bob's cries sounds too heartbreaking. The strong Bob did not let the difficulties in front of him down. After getting the scarf, he rushed to bandage his thigh, even if he almost fainted from the pain.